What's up, YouTube? I'm back. It's your girl, Crystal, and we are going to talk about some YouTubers once again. So, <clears throat> I don't know what's going on with Liv at this point. Like, what she's thinking, like, mentally in her head. Um, but she needs to, like, sit down and reevaluate her life as a mom. Um, you need to, you need to do things differently. You need to rock differently. You feel me? And I don't think she understands that or knows that yet, or even knows how to do that yet. I'm confused. I don't know if she got a new man in her life. I don't know if Gerard's back in her life. I don't know. I don't know if he just came down for Robin's birthday Whatever, if he's just visiting, if he's moved in, I have no idea. We don't know because she plays games. Um, you know, she she puts a, a, a saying on her live, oh, there's a stranger in my home. And then she get mad when people are asking, like, who is it? Is it Gerard? Is it your baby daddy? Is it your new man, is it, who is it, right, she gets mad, she goes, why y'all gotta be so nosy, no, yes, we nosy, we want to know who's there, hello, that's why we clicked on your live, duh, you know what I mean, and I'm so, like, my heart hurts, like, my heart hurts for those kids, and if that is her baby daddy, and they are fixing it or getting things together or getting things right or whatever. You know, I would hope one day they can do that for their kids. Because they do have three kids together. But at the end of the day, too, if y'all too toxic for, toxic for each other, y'all need to keep moving and be separated. And not this, oh, every few months, I'm going to come and hit that. every. No, you can't do that. You're sending your kids different messages, different signals. Is is mommy and daddy getting back together? Because I want to see mommy and daddy, uh, you know, get back together. Of course they do. Of course they do. They're kids. They want to see their mommy and daddy together. You know what I mean? But at the end of the day, if y'all too toxic for each other, you you on one on one video talking about how abusive he is to you mentally and physically, I would never sleep with a man like that again especially after i've left moved on and left him in a whole nother state you would never get to get this cookie again like think of yourself as as a as a a diamond i guess you can say think of yourself as a diamond like do you think of yourself as a piece of shit on the floor because that's how you make us feel you know what i mean because you getting stepped on. You feel me? Yes, we're women. We all have needs. We need sex. Of course we do. That's fine and dandy. But damn. If the man's abusing you physically and mentally, don't open your legs to him. Don't have another child with him. Which all that bullshit's fake anyway. I'm sorry, but that's fake. And that's for views. How you going to be pregnant one day and then the next day talking about, oh, I took care of it. I don't want to talk about it no more. Nah, nah, it don't, it don't happen that way. It don't happen that way. You don't get things fixed the next day. Boom. And then the day after you drinking, you drinking. Stop. I've lost two babies. Two. Okay. Okay. They're right here. Both both sets of feet. I lost two babies before I got to have my daughter, who's now two. And I don't like women who, who have abortions. I'm going to put it out there. I don't like women who have abortions. If you lay down and have sex, guess what? Push out that baby like every other woman on this earth does. You don't terminate babies just because you, ha you had sex one night and the baby daddy don't want to be in his life. So now you terminate in a life? Nah. Nah, I don't agree with that. I don't like it. Okay? I suffered and I cried. 
and I turned into a hatred ass woman after I lost two babies. Okay? And you go killing one? No. No. I don't like it. I don't like it. It's disgusting. Okay? And the only way I think that that's okay is if, God forbid, you as a woman get raped or something and you end up pregnant. That's different. That's different. Yes, you can abort that child. Not any other reason. I'm sorry. I've lost two kids. And for you to kill a kid or supposedly kill a kid pisses me off. I don't like it. I don't like women who do that. I don't care what the problem is in your in your life. Whether you have the baby daddy or you don't have the baby daddy. Or it was a mistake or whatever it was. That child did not ask to be brought into this life. Okay? That child is innocent and has and can't see the world because you terminated. it. Bullshit. I call your bluff. Let's see some receipts. Show us something. You know you got some medication or something after you done terminated a child. Because I got medication when, when I had to take the pill to deliver my dead child. So I know all about that. So where's your, where's your receipts? Show us. Since you're not such a liar, show us. Show us. Show us. Show us the doctor's uh, um, report talking about termination. Show us. You know you a damn lie. You a damn lie. And you lie for views. And that's pathetic. Pathetic. You know what I mean? Pathetic. And as a woman, you need to take care of your three kids. Take care of your kids because they deserve better from you. Okay? And stop chasing after a man that don't want you. That don't love you. That ain't giving you a house and a ring. And who hasn't married you yet. Stop chasing him, girl. You're supposed to be a diamond, not a piece of shit on the floor. A diamond. You feel me? Start acting like it. You have a daughter. You have two daughters that you looking up that's looking up to you as a mom, as a woman. Okay? Stop it. You stupid. Stop it. Stop it. Get right. Get right and get right for you. Not for the next chick, not for the next man, nobody. Get right for you and your kids. I'm sorry, but I don't like liars. I don't like liars. And I think you're one of the biggest liars on YouTube. Get at me. Bye, YouTube.